okay so once again you are mostly welcome we are now in for our item 0 1 2 or in simple terms you can call it item 12 we are still continuing with our physics series okay and this is strictly coming from what we call electromagnetism all right good so please we kindly request you to subscribe to the channel and also share to whoever may find this video okay important all right so without wasting time i think let's proceed okay good so you don't forget to share like and also comment all right without wasting time let's go to our question okay so we have our question at hand let's follow it slowly they're saying a group of learners from a certain school visited a residence and were requested by a neighbor to press a switch by the door side on pressing it they had a loud bell sound and the door was opened shortly okay well they had a loud bell sound right good the learners were surprised when they were told it was it is an electric bell of 240 volts comma 40 watts but could not explain how the bell works what would happen what how the bell works what would happen if the bell was used on the house with mains of 120 volts and how the sound of the bell can be increased okay good as a physics student, explain how the be, de, explain how the device produces loud sound. So in simple terms here, the device they are talking about is simply an electric bell. We have this. So the device they are talking about is an electric bell. And now in here, they want okay, they want us to explain how an electric bell works. But of course, since we have said that this is coming from a topic called electromagnetism. Right, good. Now, what we must know here is that, assuming we have, say, assuming you have this one here is a coil, assuming you have a coil in that format, assuming you have a coil in that format, and maybe this coil here is carrying current. Let's begin from here. Maybe this coil here is carrying current. That is current. That is current. That is current. Coming down. And also coming down okay and now just imagine if we have something in the middle here maybe a soft iron just take it that what you have there is a soft iron this one here is a softy it is a softy iron in the simple terms so what must you know what must you know is that when current passes through a wire this wire here tends to it becomes a magnet in simple terms so when current is passing through any coil that coil and whatever is surrounding it becomes a magnet that's what you're meaning here and now the combination here a wire which is wrapped a wire which is wrapped around any a soft iron core okay carrying current that one we call it now we call it what we call an electromagnet we call it an electromagnet a magnet which has been generated because of the electric current which is okay passing through now one would ask so this soft iron you're seeing in the middle here allow me to shed it this soft iron you're seeing in the middle here becomes a magnet becomes a magnet now one would want to ask what makes the part what 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 affects what affects in certain terms one would want to ask that what affects the strength what affects the strength of that magnet now what affects the strength of the magnet is that the number the number of turns in simple terms the number of turns the number of turns means the way this this conductor is coiling itself like from here like that like that if there are very very many then the magnet will be very strong if they are very small if very few then the magnet will be very weak then also increasing on the current increasing on the current also increases on the strength of a magnet so that's what you're going to see but it's going to rotate from that principle that 
if if a coil is wrapped near a wire a coil carrying current is wrapped near a wire then a magnet is induced or we obtain a magnet which we call an electro magnet and now that's how the electric bell works so without wasting time i think let us have this and we get a deeper explanation of what this simply means okay good maybe let's first of all gonna have to have this let's first of all have that what understand how electrical magnet works right let's we hope that we call that a spring that part there we call it contacts okay this part here we call it okay a soft iron armature we call it a soft iron armature okay then this one here we call it a hammer right good this one here we call it a soft iron core we call it a soft iron core core then this one here we simply call it a gong plus so please this is what we call an electric bell and maybe let's look into the description now these namings here are very important but again what happens here what happens here let's go and see in the next part okay good so we want to know how does this electric bell work now in the first picture this is our first picture this is our second picture this is our third picture and this is our fourth picture okay i'm going to explain so in the first case you realize that we have this one is a, a switch a switch now you see that you have a positive and negative that current is flowing like that so when current flows through like this okay i will get a different ink such that these two can differ okay raise of the ink i want to get this explained so that we can all understand what this means so current is coming that order that is current say i now when the current comes current will come and pass through this when current pass through, passes through that remember this place here is in contact so the current will as well pass through that okay all through this then the current will start passing through the coil passing through the coil passing through the coil passing through the coil like that now one to understand here remember i explained that whenever current is passing through a coil one a, a coil wrapped around a soft iron this is an is what you call soft iron then what did you expect there is an induced what there is a magnet formed which you call an electromagnet now just take it that this iron here is all a magnet what happens is the magnet is going to attract this soft iron armature this the magnet is going to attract this soft iron armature to itself and that pushes us to picture number two i hope you are able to see here that the magnet has pulled the soft iron armature but as the soft iron armature is coming it moves along with the gong it moves along with the hammer sorry and the hammer will now hit the this one is our gong this one here is our hammer so the hammer will now hit the what the gong and now a loud sound will be heard that's for the first instance but remember as it has done that we have lost contact here still again remember current is coming like this again current is coming like that but here there is a space because of the movement of the soft iron armature there is space here so current will not be able to get this side therefore this this part here will no longer be magnetized and once that magnetized it will have to release this one will go back since the force of attraction has been built because of the magnet this c okay soft iron armature will get back as it gets back that pushes us here as it gets back there like this so realize that as it gets back in fact here is when it has gone off but as it gets back here you realize that as the soft iron gets back here it will get again in contact and once they get in contact it now takes us to the first picture whereby this soft iron coil will become magnetized again attract this guy this guy will come and hit the gong like that that whole process is repeated and the loud sound and then the sound is produced in an electric all right bear with that let's go and see in details all right good so i was explaining this this red so i said here that as the current passes through this remember this point here originally the point is in contact so current will be able to pass through this go up come again pass through the coils current pass through the coils pass through the coils current will come down again up down again up now but as current is passing through this in the first place 
this one becomes magnetized it becomes an electromagnet now since it is magnetized it will pull it will pull the soft iron armature to itself as the soft iron armature comes to itself it will now as it moves near to this it comes along with the hammer the hammer which will hit the gong and the gong will produce a loud sound like that but remember as the hammer has moved to this level this point here will have lost contact here this point here will have lost contact this point here will have lost contact as in this picture here it will have lost contact like we have it here it will have lost contact like they have here now it means that no current flows no current flows and if there is no current then no magnet and if you don't have a magnet here remember here it was attracted originally and if you don't have a magnet here then this one will be released to go back as it goes back it goes back with its gong but as it's coming back again this part here joins with this contact here and then current will flow current flows magnetized again pull the gong pull the soft iron amateur the, the, the hammer hits the gong sound is produced that is how the cycle repeats itself let's get this analytic so yeah the thing the thing that okay good so the thing that electromagnetic device is an electric bell yeah okay now how does it work when the push switch is pressed meaning the switch around here when the push switch is pressed comma current flows through the solenoid now a solenoid we are meaning okay what we call an electromagnet whenever you get a soft iron a soft iron and wire and wrap around a coil we call that a solenoid a solid and current flowing through a solenoid and a soft iron a coil solenoid and a soft iron core gets magnetized i explain that it attracts the soft iron armature which hits the gong okay it attracts this as this one is being attracted it comes along with the gong which hits here look okay, at this so in simple terms as this one is being attracted this also comes and hits here like that that's in the first place then next we are saying then we are saying here that as the amateur moves as the amateur moves here we are get this okay as the amateur moves contact is broken current stops flowing and the iron amateur is no longer attracted so as the amateur moves contact is lost here so no current flows through this therefore the soft iron core loses its magnetic forces therefore this one the soft iron armature which was attracted because there's no electromagnetic forces it will be pushed back as it pushes back there will be no contact as it pushed back it now regains contact so now they say it is then pulled back by the spring and contact is remade now contact is remade and once contact is remade in this area again current flows when the current flows again magnetized then to be pulled and the gong the hammer hits here okay so the process repeats itself and the bell rings continuously as long as the switch is pressed and that's how brief we can get the description or mode of operation of an electric bell in simple terms without wasting time all right good with that we have answered part a let's go and see part b so part be the same comment on what would happen if the electric bell was moved to a house with the voltage of 120 volts okay now remember this electric bell was working at this level here this electric bell was working at 240 volts versus a power of 40 watts like that now we want to see what if we change the voltage to 120 volts and a power of still 40 watts we are only changing the voltage. You see that only the volts, the voltage is changing. Now here, what you must know is we have said what may affect the amount or the sound produced by this electric bell is that, okay, what may affect is simply current, is simply current, is simply current in both cases. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to calculate the current using this combination, and also cal calculate current using this combination remember in order to produce a bigger sound so comment on what would happen if the electric bell was moved to a house with a voltage of 120p you want to see if you get a bigger current then a louder sound is heard if you get a smaller current then we say there was a reduction in the sound so let's go and see calculate current using these two calculate current using these two and then we compare the results let's go there okay we have that so now we're answering our part b let's get that so Power of 140 volts, 140 watts, comma, V is 
the volt the PD is 240 volts so let's calculate the current so from power is equal to IP the power is 40 now here from power is equal to IP realize that the power is 40 the V is 240 we want now the I let's see that so 40 is equal to 240 I divided both sides by 240 and now our current will become that so that our current will become 0 0.16 Seven. That is in regard to a 240 V. Gives us that current. Let's see another one. Without wasting time. Let's see another one. Let's see another one. Without wasting time. All right. Good. So with that, let's see. So power gain of 40 watts, but versus a PD of 100, 120. Because remember, we are getting it from this PD to that, and we want to see what will happen to the electric bell. Okay. So power is equal to IV. We substitute 40 is equal to 120 i divided both sides by 120 so therefore our current will become that okay then current is just 0 0.33 amperes now let's compare this one as a result of that therefore let's compare these two currents we have current one and current two which one is bigger you realize that this current two is bigger so it means that when they change from 240 to 120 a bigger current is generated and if a bigger current is generated then we shall get a very loud sound will be hard in simple terms let's get there we get that in writing so we are saying that okay erase this off okay since more current flows when the when the main is of 120 v is connected more current we are comparing this and this remember the one for this is 240 the one through this is 120. So, but smaller PD gives us high current. Okay. So, you see that since more current flows when the mains of 120V is connected, a stronger magnet would be formed. A stronger magnet would be formed. So, that the bigger the current, the stronger the magnet. The stronger magnet would be formed. Hence, a louder sound as the hammer would strike the gong with a greater force. So, that is it. High current increases the strength of a magnet then increases the, makes the hammer to hit the gonga with the greater force therefore a loud sound will be okay hard straight away okay so sometimes the proof here can be only brought when you have used the calculation to see the values which may arise afterwards so let's see part c the last one the same suggest ways in which the sound of the device can be increased yeah we have talked about this how can the sound of the device be increased we have commented on the first one and we say that by increasing the number of current increasing the amount of the increasing the current then also increasing the number of turns so let's get part c where is how we can get this improved so using a soft iron armature increasing the number of turns in the coil then also i'll be explaining one by one increasing the amount of current through the coil so this one is a bit self-explanatory increasing the amount of current now using a soft iron amateur now a soft iron amateur is a device okay which induces what we call a talk which induces what we call a talk in fact it is a device which can in case of, which can easily move to and fro to and fro in response to the magnetic force around that's what we call a soft iron amateur and can easily be attracted in fact it's a very good conductor of it's a very good electromagnetic material so okay so that's why we use the soft iron amateur there the increasing the number of turns we are meaning this please the number of turns you are meaning if you have a coil like this the number of turns is that one can have a winding like that like that like that like that like that then have another one number of turns that's what i'm commenting on having that 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 so here you see that there are very many so here we shall have a stronger or a louder sound will be heard if this the number of turns or coils the more the number of coils the more the current which flows and therefore the stronger the magnet is produced and therefore the, the hammer will hit the gong with a greater force okay and with that that marks the end of our item zero zero in fact our item zero one two i wish you well please there's be a video which is going to pop up there you maybe hit it and all right watch thank you nice time